All right, welcome to my April 19th live item shop review video. We got the toy soldier bundle up top. Every day I look at the item shop, it's in a different configuration. For some reason, the Royale originals are on top. And like I said, toy soldier bundle. These used to be super, super OP. And then they literally rubbed some dirt on them and made them stand out a little more. But with the bundle, you do get three wraps, which is kind of cool. Although they look a little strange. Lego skins are pretty sweet as well. The Archetype bundle is back. That's Archetype, Caliper, and the Servo Glider. It's been a while since I've seen this bundle. He's a pretty solid skin. Not too flashy, obviously, with his low-key color scheme. I do like his Lego version. Pretty sweet. Moving on down, we got the Autumn Queen and Turns making a return. Does he have a secondary style? No. He reminds me of the Shy Guy from Super Mario Bros. 2. We got the Munitions Expert and the Bark Basher. This is a pretty cool pickaxe. I do enjoy this one for 800. And then the Smash Rooms. These are kind of creepy, to be honest. Also 800. And Slap Happy's back. It's a pretty decent emote. It's got two renditions. You can also mess it up if you play it enough times. 500 for that. What else we got? Snow Striker. 800 for him. Jaeger is also back. I think he's a 2,000 skin. No, he's only 1,500. Yeah, Jaeger's up beastly looking skin. I haven't ran him in a while, but I think his ADS or his aim down sights is a little bad because look at how bulky that pelt around his shoulders are. Plus the horns, uh, I don't know about that one. He's got a sweet back bling though. And his Lego skin is awesome, look at that. As is usually the case in Fortnite, the female skin is better. I love her eyes as well as her hair, that's really cool. Her Lego skin's not as good though. I much prefer the male one there. She also has a sweet back bling. That's a good set all around. Pickaxe is called the Battle Axe, and then we got the Tusk Glider. I feel like this is a rare set. I can't remember the last time it's been out, but I haven't seen them in a long time. Headbanger's back. Okay, we got Bright Gunner and Rainbow Smash. We've seen them a million times, plus Match Point. She's a pretty cheap skin at only 800. Maven makes a return. That's a sweaty skin. And then Ruckus with his secondary Neon Rage style. Pretty cool. And then the gear for festival, the brand new emote and guitar. Plus Lady Gaga still here, only a few more days for her, then she rotates out. We got the jam tracks, some of those were brand new yesterday. You can view all 66 more if you'd like. The new Coachella skins are still here, I did a full gameplay and review on those. Plus the jam bundles are still here. Moving on down, we got the first and second waves of Coachella. So rocking at Coachella, a lot of people were wondering when these would come back. Here they are. Pretty sure I did a full gameplay and review on both of these bundles, so check them out if you're on the fence. This is Lyric, and then we've got Wilder. Some of them have some weird secondary styles. I call them the Smurf styles, like this one right here. Just weird. Why is he blue? I don't know. And she's got the same, a Smurf blue, or I guess it could be purple. And she's got the same, a Smurf blue, or I guess it's a little bit purple as well, huh? The back blings are pretty cool. There's an animated shark, and then the cactus here. Nicely animated as well. Pickaxes are the same. Well, I don't remember this being the pickaxe. I actually thought this was an instrument at first, but no, it's a pickaxe. And then the pretty sweet wrap as well. So that's a solid bundle. I do like that one. I think this one I kind of liked, but not as much as this first bundle. So we got Alto. He's got glasses on or off, and he's got that psychedelic shirt. Lego skin looks pretty sick. I like that. Got the Sonic Vibes back bling. Very, very animated and reactive. Then here's Poet. I think she only has the glasses off style, yep. Nothing too special there. Once again, they nailed it on her Lego skin. Got the astronaut helmet. Pickaxe is the Cactical Crusher, another cactus-inspired one. And then this palm tree. Pretty cool wrap as well, and this also comes with a loading screen. So, two pretty solid bundles. Oh, wait, we had another bundle. I forgot about this one. Holy crap, so we're at four stages of Coachella now? That's insane. Let's see this one. This is Sunset Alto. Oh yeah, these are the ones that could turn purple and blue. Another pretty strange color scheme. There's his Lego skin, not bad. Sunset Swirl. Desert Dawn. She turns orange, I like that color. Still a bit strange, but orange nonetheless. Here's the Lego, <laughs> that's a nice pink hat. Not bad. We got the Airflow Vibes. The Electro Palm Staff, another cactus, another cactus, Desert Breeze Wrap, 
And again, I'm pretty sure I did a gameplay review on these as well. So if you want any of those and you want to see gameplay, just type in Tabor Hill plus the bundle name or the skin name and it should pop up. We have the janky skin still here. I have no idea how long it's going to be in here, so get it while you can. We got Jay Balvin, also still here. I did not do a gameplay and review on this just yet. The Weekend Bundle, also still here, plus Avatar. That's probably going to be here till the end of the collaboration. Fortnite Flow, all these are the same as yesterday. We got Boys a Liar, Wind Up, Roly, Starlet, and then Perfect Score. And the Start Your Engines tab is the same as well. The Werewolf Bundle, Diesel Bundle, the Wheels and Boosts. And the Durburger Lego kit plus the Beachside Boulevard Lego kit. And there you go. Pretty decent shop with the return of Coachella all the waves. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter grader code, which is TaborTime.